and there is still still uh, an issue of hunger out in our community. So let's talk, uh, it's the holidays and I want the viewers to know how they can either come here and get food if they're hungry or they can come here and uh, donate and the various opportunities and places where they donate that will be going on between now and the holidays. Mm -hmm. How can we help let the viewers know about that? Well, this is the time of year yeah. that uh, that we really, you know, things really come to a head for us. Um, you know, there are folks that are that are clients. Once you're a client, you're al you're always a client on our records. Mm -hmm. You know, we're here to help. If you if you feel the need, you know, you haven't been here for six months. You haven't been here for a year. You know, and all of a sudden something's changed in your life. Uh, you're you're a, an aging parent, and your kids come back and move in with their grandkids. You know. That's a hardship on, on a family. Um, you know, we're, we're still here. We're, we're available for help. Um, during the holidays, that's when, you know, things start to change a little bit. Um, people are very giving during the holiday season. There's a, there's a lot going on in our community. Um, you have the Amador Stars, their, their, you know, their system, their set up there, uh, Christmas to remember. Um, and, and the food bank, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing. But the money that's raised this time of year for us, is, is a, it carries us over, you know, to the first part of the year. It, it's, it's basically seed money for the first part of the year. Uh, we've lost a few, a couple major donations this year, um, which we anticipate we won't receive again next year. So we're going to have to work harder to, to, uh, to, to, to make up that deficit. Mm -hmm. um, but we have, you know, we've got our turkey drive, uh, our, our, the turkey drive has started November 1st. Several of our grocery stores are starting to collect turkeys for us. Um, but our main push is going to be on November 21st, where we're going to be at uh, Safeway, Save Mart, and Grocery Outlet from uh, from 10 to 4 on a Saturday, 21st. And we'll be, actually I've got the uh, Amador County Scouts, they're going to be out in front of all the stores um, helping to uh, collect uh, food and turkeys. Um, we have our Project Thanks program that's uh, Full speed, full speed ahead right now. There's a flyer for it mm -hmm. right here. Yeah, and we're um, right now we've got over 700 families that that uh, that have been adopted okay. for this. Last year we had over 900 that uh, were needing adoption. Um, so so you know we're prepared for that. Um, where uh, Amador County residents can adopt a family for $45. Um, they can they can either adopt it. We can provide them with a with a client's name and, and address, and they can they can do the purchase and deliver to the client or they can uh, donate $45 per family and we'll do the shopping and we do a major distribution over at St. Catherine Drexel's on the 21st as well, or on the 22nd okay. um, where, the, where the families that weren't adopted come to the to the distribution and receive their holiday meal from us. So there's lots of different ways that people can help and also receive if Absolutely. needed. Absolutely. Well, we've got our we have the turkey trot also on uh, Thanksgiving morning up at Lake Taboo at eight o'clock. Um, it's a it's a no entry fee. It's a it's a fun event. My first experience was uh, my first year in 2012 uh, going up there, and, and Dr. Bob Hartman had, was one of the organizers of that. And people just show up with food, um, and and they go and they run around the lake. You know, they're there for about an hour and an hour and a half, and they go home and have Thanksgiving dinner with their family. Mm -hmm. And we bring we bring a couple thousand pounds of food back from that wow. from that one event. That's amazing. So um, we see that the back of the warehouse is opening and, and things are kind of oh the truck has arrived. The truck has arrived okay. yeah yeah so they've gone around and they've they've gone to all of our local grocery stores and the process is that um, the grocery stores will will glean through their their items whether they're short-coated uh, um, slightly damaged um, not not real you know not real pretty fruit or vegetables that you know, most customers like to get and the the drivers go around they pick this stuff up and when it's brought back here we weigh everything so we, we track everything by pounds it's pounds in and pounds out um, so each store gets weighed and uh, and then it's logged and then it goes into our cooler and our volunteers uh, sort it out and get it prepared for distribution at 10 o'clock like everything's going as scheduled because it is just almost 10 o'clock. Well, you know, it, 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 it's amazing how it does happen. It does does all go on schedule. Um, you know, every, every once in a while you get an occasional uh, glitch, but nothing that we can't handle. And we always, we always manage to have enough to carry over for the next day. That's amazing, amazing. So 
Um, as far as the volunteers go, what, what do you suggest people that are kind of sitting and watching this and thinking, well, I'm semi-retired or, you know, what does it look like? Does it look like you come down here and you meet you or Patty? Uh, when, when I want to start volunteering, what, what do I do? Well, there's a couple of couple of options. One, you can go to our website at feedamador.org, and there's an, um, a section there for volunteering. Um, it basically gives you an overview of what 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 goes on here at the food bank, what your choices are, what you'd like to do, um, and and you can print that out. There's an application as well, um, and you check off what you'd like to do, uh, how many hours you'd like to spend. We have folks that come down here just to shred paper. They just want to get out of the house. You know, they come down. Um, spend an hour, uh, you know. So, or you can come to the food bank and and, and get a copy of that over, overview and or an application, and and complete that. Um, again, we have our thrift store that that needs volunteers as well. So, if you have volu- if you have uh, any experience in retail or or just want to get out of the house and, and work with people, um, you know, check out, check out our our thrift store as well. Great Finds Thrift Store in Sutter Hill. And Let's talk about donations to the thrift store. You're looking for everything that people want to uh, recycle or donate or clean out the closets. What sort of items are you looking for at the thrift store? Well, it, it, it's an interesting thing. You know, the thrift store is designed to support the food bank. Um, all of its sales above its operational up above its operational costs, um, all of all of that money is donated to the food bank. Um, the last couple years, they've they've contributed over sixty thousand dollars each year to our to our uh, operation here but at the same time you know the, the items that we get are items that you know that we uh, we need are items that are going to be you know that you don't want they're gently used um, they have some sort of purpose still available that somebody will want to buy um, you know my thing is you know we want to donate don't dump you know and and so it's you know we want it, it needs to work so we can sell it you know it needs to be relatively wearable when we sell it um, but we have a great group of volunteers that that glean through and cull through all that stuff and there is an opportunity to recycle the clothing that, that's not actually used and we get some monies back from that okay great great so tommy's showing off the warehouse has it, um why don't we take a break and see what the shopping is like this morning and what sort of customers uh, not what sort, what sort of orders are coming in, and we will do a little shopping. They should be coming in rather soon. So, John, you got your first order for the day, mm-hmm. and you're just beginning to shop. Right. With the cart, and you're going to hit most of these sections, and the coolers, there's two coolers or one cooler? One cooler, one freezer, Okay. and one outside. Okay, well, I'll let you go shopping, and our camera's going to follow you around, and you can okay. fill your order. Thank okay. you, and thank you for being here. Okay. Uh, at the bottom are special requests. Uh-huh. So they wanted to... The juice, some insurer that we happen to have, okay. and uh, dog food. Dog food. Okay. All right. Thank you very much.
So in closing, Tom? Well, I just want to remind everybody, you know, that this is the holiday season and, and everybody is giving and giving graciously and we appreciate everything that is being given to the Interfaith Food Bank. Just a reminder that hunger doesn't end with the holidays and I invite everybody to become a, food, a friend of the food bank and um, basically be a recurring sustaining donor. Ten, fifteen dollars a month throughout the year, uh, each month, and that will help support the times when, when donations are low and slow. Um, just want everybody to have a great uh, holiday season and thank you very much for the opportunity. And thank you, Tom, for the tour and good luck this season. Thank you. You're watching Amador County's local television network, TSP.